This week. We got a lot of stuff. We got 15 new products. We got this, the MTP 9600. It's an I2C thermocouple uh, breakout. We have a guide coming soon, some demos. Basically, if you have a K-type or J-type or whatnot thermocouple and you want to read it from a microcontroller, we have a bunch of thermocouple reader boards, um, but they all use SPI and there's one that does analog. This one does I2C, which makes it kind of unique. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, if you want I squared C, and sometimes you really don't want to use all the pins for SPI, this is one of the few I squared C uh, thermocouple sensors. Uh, we got a library for it in Arduino and CircuitPython coming soon. We now have an assembled version of this, our prop maker wing, uh, which would be great for making a light up uh, compressible katana if, uh, from the previous uh, video. But uh, the prop maker wing adds uh, and a uh, high-powered RGB LED driver, uh, audio amplifier, um, a NeoPixel driver with level shifting, accelerometer, basically designed for making props uh, connected to your CircuitPython or Arduino board. And now we have it fully assembled because there's some prop makers who are like, well, I like the plug and play NeoPixels and you know, the plug and play um, audio amplifier, but I don't want to do any soldering. So this one is solder free. It comes to you with solder already on it. You have some examples of some of the stuff it can do as well. Yes. So it does a bunch. Yes, it's a demo. You can see it's driving a 3-watt LED or 5-watt LED. It's got a button input. It's got a speaker playing a sound. And it's got uh, NeoPixels being driven. So it's great for a little prop. Just plug it onto your feather wing. We've got a bunch of projects as well. Okay. We'll go through these pretty quick. We've got a lot of Yeah, those. we have a, a wide range of these plug adapters. And basically, they're a way to panel mount really easily. They have uh, various USB connectors on either side, and I'll show them on the overhead. And they panel mount really easily. And what's nice about them is you just have to drill a round hole, because other panel mount stuff, some of you need an oval hole, or a square hole, or a rectangular hole. You need angles. This one, angle free, no angles. You see the angles? No angles here. It's round. <laughs> you drill a hole, I think it's like 35 millimeters or something, and you get basically every kind of different USB adapter. I'm just going to go through Type these. Type B, yeah, just go through them. You get the B to A, and then you get a demo, and this we have the um, micro B, and then on the other side, there's the USB A connector. So it's kind of like an extension cord, sort of. Um, a host with micro B on the back. So other way around, four on the go. Ethernet, this one's popular always. You want to panel mount your Ethernet. Again, no rectangular holes required. Oh, and these ones have cables on them. So we have ones that are plug yeah. to plug, and then we have ones with extension cables. They're about the same price, but like, you know, you, you're stuck with the cable size you get. So you yeah, the freaky printer you got, we got one for that too. We got the B2B, <laughs> and well, you know, we have a lot of Arduinos, you, you know classic Arduinos. Yeah, but don't. also like printers and scanners. Printers and scanners. Uh, we also have, um, so we have A-type, we have micro B, and I think we have USB-C, because those are the, the most popular ones. So I'll show these off real fast. Yeah, and then, uh, we also have C. Yes. C's a little bit more expensive because it has a lot more cables. Yeah. So, right. so you want to show Yeah, I'll show these a variety off. of these in the overhead. Okay. Yeah, so I'll show how these work. So basically, here's the scoop. This is what you have exposed to the outside, so it's micro B. So your device that you're connecting to, like you know, your your feather wing or whatever. Um, like this feather here, you have a micro B cable. You don't, you can't panel mount this because it's, it's not easy to panel mount. You panel mount this, and then here you plug in the A cable, the other side of the micro B cable, and then you can connect that cable any length you like to you know your enclosure or whatever your wearable. And then you short, use a short cable, long cable, whatever you want to the device you're connecting. So that's why it's A host on this side because it's kind of like inverse extension cable. So we have micro B. We have um, USB host, and this is the opposite. So this is if something is a USB host device. You would take a micro B to A cable. So this is like you know you're a Raspberry Pi. You want to st stick in a USB stick or a, a Wi-Fi dongle or something. Um, you could use that. We have the chunky B type uh, used for um, classic Arduinos and such. Uh, we have the micro B to. We have the micro B to micro B cable, so you don't need an extra cable. This, you know, you plug this into here, and then you have the extension over there. Ditto, uh, plug this into your Arduino or printer, and then you have this exposed. 
Um, and of course, everybody's favorite eight wire Cat 5. And this is the demo showing, I'll show you how to attach. This is the USB-C cable. So it's got, you know, USB-C and it's reversible either way. Um, so this plastic is translucent so you can see through it. So you can see how it attaches. And this is actually kind of a slightly larger hole than necessary. Um, but you drill a round hole or if you have a laser cutter, you can uh, put notches and that'll keep it from rotating, but not really necessary. And then this comes with these big, easy to use threads and uh, the locking mount. Um, you can also add an O-ring if you like. And on the other side, you slide this through and then you thread it on and Bob's your uncle or Janice is your aunt, whatever you like. And then you can straighten this, tighten it and you've got panel mounting. You can see it can be quite thick I think maybe like a half an inch or so, um, but check the specs and uh, very solid, really nice panel. And I like these because the ones we have, they're good, but they require a rectangular hole. What I like about these is that almost anyone can uh, drill a hole into any material. And so we got wide range. Okay, next up. We got quad wings. You need more wings, quad wings. You have one feather and three wings. We have them in two different setups. We have this setup, the quad two by two, which has two on one side and then two by the other. And we have the four by, and that's four in a row. So we have, I've shown a little demo on the overhead, real fast, of a, um, of a feather. You've got your feather and four, your early feather wing, your sensor feather from analog devices. And then an OLED display showing it's taking the temperature and setting it to Adafruit I.O. So you even have some prototyping space on the bottom. Quad wing. Ditto with this and it, you know, you can have it be like side to side. So it's about the same size almost, a little thinner, a little longer. Pick which one you want. Kind of the same thing. But this one, of course, it doesn't, because I had to put the wires through this way. It only had prototyping area over here. But maybe that's okay. Maybe you prefer this one. We have both. Flexible e-ink. We put the 2.13 inch a couple weeks ago and um, we warn people a lot that these are flexible. They're flexible, but you can't flex them a lot. Um, they will break. You can like, kind of flex them and put them into uh, orientation, but it's not like you can constantly bend them. They will eventually uh, crack. Uh, that said, it's a flexible e-ink and it's at a very reasonable price. Um, so this video, just to warn you, it's it's Super fun, but it's on loop. Only do it it's once. It's a loop, Only right? Do it once. Don't it, do it this many times. Yeah, you can't do this forever. You can do it once, and this is just a loop. If you did this forever, you know, if you did this a couple of times, you, you would eventually break it. Um, so I can show it on the overhead real fast. And then, yeah, it's flexible. And uh, you can't flex it while it's updating, but you can see here you go. This is update time, and then you can um, I'll remove this. And then again, it's ink, so, you know, even without power. And then it's flexible. It's kind of translucent. I don't know if you could shine light through it. Probably not. But it is bendable. So you can make like a bracelet of some sort if you like. Or if you want it to, you know, uh, mount onto something that is slightly curved. This is where you would use it. It can't be Let's flexed. Let's see if light can go through it. I got mine. You got it? No, not really. Not, not so much. Time. Yeah, I thought maybe it would be like a mask. But, um, but yeah, we have these in two sizes. Um, and because it's flexible, we don't have a backing. So instead, use this e-ink friend ink friend so you can attach uh, okay. the display and use it it's kind of small all right the star of the show besides the community our employees and you lady Ada, is this yay it's the airlift feather wing you've been wanting it and here it is on the quad feather wings you, you want to see what that looks like um it's a airlift board so this is an esp32 wi-fi coprocessor and it's a really great pairing for pretty much any microcontroller board. It runs even on the uh, Arduino 328s. Um, it's using a slight modification of Arduino's Nina firmware, which is awesome and amazing. I'm so glad that they published it. Um, it lets you do secure Wi-Fi over SPI, very fast, very reliable. Um, it has all these root certificates burned into it so you can do SSL connectivity uh, very easily without having to worry about certificates. They're already uh, built into the device. Um, 
And yeah, you use uh, MISA and MOSI S clock as well as uh, ESP Busy, Reset, and Chip Select. So you need six pins total, so it's quite a few, but it lets you add Wi Fi uh, quite easily and quite powerfully to any of the boards. And now it works with the Feather line as well. We had a breakout version, and now we have the Feather version. Uh, we tested it with CircuitPython and Arduino works perfectly with both. Um, so yeah, people have been wanting, you know, a Wi-Fi for their Feather M4 or they have an ADA logger and they want to add Wi-Fi to it. Here you go. We finally have something. I like this because it's like, look, you want to write something in like Python, fine. Okay, but I want to get online. All right, here you go. But I'm going to, okay, now I want this analog devices sensor array, but you know, I really want to display something. Okay. You got it all. It's all there. And you can plug and play whatever you like. Um, We'll also be making some feathers in the future that have airlift built into them. But for now, the feather airlift wing is, is what we have works well. For um, Arduino usage, we, you can use it with the, at Mega 320, 324, but it's kind of minimal. You don't have a lot of RAM, so you're not gonna be able to do complicated stuff. Uh, you can do like basic connectivity. And if you want to use it with CircuitPython, you need to use an M4. An M0 is actually not going to have enough RAM. You need a lot of RAM to um, do Wi-Fi stuff. And that's new products.